<laughs> okay, so last question. In your opinion, what are the three most important things a young artist should remember? I feel like so many people contact me because I work at Pixar and they're like, oh my god, I want a job, or oh my god, I want to work for Pixar, and I'm like, boring. <laughs> like, and I think what I would like to say to young people or other artists, not even young people, is it's just it just like comes down to like one thing, and that is like working your freaking tail off, like pure and simple. There is just no shortcuts, none whatsoever. Even at Pixar, just like every day, like people work so effing hard there. Like whenever I've had visitors, they're like, oh my god, it looks like Playland here, and like you watch the DVDs and extra material, and it's like people riding around on scooters, like playing ping pong or whatever the hell they're doing. That ain't the reality of that place, dude. I will tell you. Like, talk to anybody who works there. And they work their freaking tail off. They barely maybe even see their families. It's just, it is a, I feel like it is a factory of like A-type personalities who are just utterly focused at working and like doing an amazing job. And even though like all the tools are there, people are there to support you, none of it works, Things are broken, there's no time, and people are pounding their heads against computers to make it work. And so, what I get utterly frustrated about is I find there's a lot of students or people who feel like they're ready to like get a job, and they have put in like zero flight hours. You know how like pilots can't like pilot a plane until they got like, I don't know, like 30,000 hours of flight time? It is just that, it's just the same thing. You have to like, get like 3,000 bad drawings out. And until you do that, then I'm like interested in looking at 3,000, like that, the 3,001 drawing. I'm looking, I'm, I'm interested in looking at that drawing. But what I find is like, oh, here's my 200 drawing. You want to look at this? Or here's my like 13th drawing. You want to look at that? I'm like, whatever, no. Work. Really work. And like, if you study any like great artist at whatever they've done, writing, music, cooking, whatever it is, I've found it's always underpinned by like so much hard work and there's just no short changing it and so like and like I've seen like other sort of successful like artists or musicians and I find like if they don't have the hard work to underpin their success they might have had like this short term like fluke like one hit wonder but if they don't have like the, the education the training and the practice to underpin it they're never going to have the longevity and I feel like the people who are going to have the lasting power to keep producing work for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, there's just no short changing it. They hustle and they work every day and they pound their heads against it in terms of like being obsessed with like practicing, practicing over and over again. So I would say to like a young person, like figure out what you're into and like be in love with it because if you're not in love with it, you're not going to be able to do the like 4,000 hours a week or whatever it takes because you're going to be doing it forever and not feeling you're good enough because it just takes constant practice. So that's what I said to young people. Hopefully love it and keep practicing it day in and day out. And then find other people who love it and want to practice it. And just hang out with those people and be humble enough to like take feedback. Because I find like a lot of other like students who just feel like their stuff doesn't stink and everybody's stuff stinks and the only way it's going to get better is by admitting it and asking for help. And so, practice, admit that it stinks, and then keep practicing. It sucks, to be honest, but it doesn't suck because you love to do it. Yeah.